Wendy and Lior's hearts filled with joy when they found out they were expecting a baby girl. But their happiness would suddenly turn to heartache. I was so excited to be pregnant again because I'd already lost a baby before. I first found out about Sadie's condition when I was 20 weeks pregnant. She had something wrong with her heart, but they couldn't really tell. They just knew that it wasn't forming correctly. We were supposed to be so excited about being pregnant and setting up the nursery. It just it was a very different experience for me. She came, we were in the hospital. She went to the NICU in order to you know, check her out, make sure everything was okay. We thought that she was just missing a structure of her heart and ended up being a lot worse than that. Your life at that point just, it stops. Everything stops. I remember Dr. Chen coming to us and telling us about this 15 millimeter valve, which is tiny. We didn't realize at the time how significant that was. The place for the 15 millimeter valve is for little kids who are really doing badly and, and cannot get out of the ICU, get off the ventilator, get out of the hospital without a competent valve. The heart valve surgery was the last hope for Sadie. If it didn't work, we were gonna have to start planning a funeral. We just had to put our trust in the doctors and we hoped for a miracle. Not only was the surgery at Seattle's Children's Hospital a big success, it saved Sadie's life, and she is thriving. Take a look now. via Skype from Seattle. What a beautiful family. Thanks for joining us today. So how did you make the decision to try this heart valve in the first place? It was really nerve wracking. We didn't know if it was gonna work or not. We weren't sure exactly what else we were gonna do. There was no other option. And Sadie's just such a strong girl. And how strong are you? Show us. Yeah. yeah. Double gun Sadie, star. you're you're the star of the show. And you know, Nita, to to you, I mean, we're now able to make diagnoses of some of these congenital deformities yeah. via ultrasounds in utero. Yeah, so ideally you do want to make it in utero because once the baby is born, you want to make sure you're at a facility where the baby can be properly cared for. So that's very important um, because you do want to be around providers who are equipped to take care of that particular situation.